I'm Amy, and I'm Tammy, and I'm Cody, and welcome back to another episode of TLC Trash Fire. Thanks for joining me tonight, y'all. So, we already know why we're here. There's a new season of Thousand Pound Sisters, and if you've been watching this channel for a while, then you already know I did a video covering the freaking trailers. You already know. I'm excited about this season of Thousand Pound Sisters. One thing I do like is Tammy has lost a lot of weight. She's lost a lot of weight. She's still morbidly obese, but she can walk, okay? So that's progress, that's progress. And obviously, her sister lost some weight, but unfortunately seemed like she kind of sort of gained it back. But from season one of Thousand Pound Sisters, when they were about 100 pounds apart i would say that tammy's sister amy is doing better over the long run you know but tammy's about to get out of the um i guess pretty much like a weight rehab that she's in where morbidly obese patients to go go to live and to be taken care of it's pretty much like a hospital good thing is tammy got her trachea tube taken out which is of course that tube they put in to basically pump oxygen into your lungs because you're so damn big that your own body can suffocate yourself so tammy got her trachea tube out and on the first episode she's about to leave the re rehabilitation center so there were two interesting scenes this episode, in my opinion. That would be the opening scene or scenes basically where Tammy's talking with Caleb. And then later on there is a kind of like mini little dramatic fight that happens near the end of the episode. So in today's episode, TLC Trash Fire, that's what we're going to hop right into. We're going to cover those two segments today. You know, I can't wait till we get home and get out of this place. And wake up in the same bed. Yeah. But I mean, you both got to lose a lot of weight. You know, and one thing I noticed this episode is Tammy can walk. So she's becoming extremely optimistic, like irresponsibly optimistic. She still has a long way to go, honey. You're, you're, you just are able to walk, you know? And Caleb's even worse off. So... I don't want everybody to start celebrating here. <laughs> They've still got a long way to go. The whole family does. It's been two months since I got married. I'm really happy with Caleb. He's the best thing that has possibly ever happened to me. But they won't let us sleep in the same bed for safety reasons. I mean, they can't even fit in the same bed. I don't what the what kind of bed would they able to fit in? Would they be able to fit in? Because I mean, just look at Caleb. He takes up almost the entire big person bed. So there's no way they can sleep up in the same bed. They're more like friends to me. You know, they're very close companions. Yes, they are married, but obviously there's no sort of like sexual relationship happening here. To me, it just reminds me of very close friends, companions. If they could go on this weight loss journey together and get healthy, then maybe they could take their relationship further. And of course, I'm making assumptions. Maybe there is some way that they're like hooking up, but I just think that they're so big that it would be painful to even attempt it. It's like our first apartment. Still kind of feel like roommates. Remember, I told you, you got a ride coming. A ride coming. 100% full speed. Look exhausted. Just think about riding. <laughs> you pervert. I'm done with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I guess that's how they have sex is she gets on top of him. Didn't really want to think about this. Didn't really want to talk about it. Didn't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> I love spending time with Caleb. He's someone I'm comfortable with. I mean, if I fart in front of him, that says a lot. <laughs> ah, y'all fart in front of everybody. <laughs> All day long, but to pass gas. That's really special, okay? If I fart in front of you, it's true love, baby. Nothing but love here. That's cool. 
I love you. I love you. Everybody tells me that Tammy and I are such a cute couple. In my opinion, we're the kind of couple that makes people sick. Y'all are the kind of couple that are sick yourselves, and you need to keep on trying to get better. Caleb is looking real bad, guys. <laughs> like, Tammy's been working. I mean, she definitely lost weight. Of course, all of this was medical assistance supervised, but I'm sure that she had to put some effort in. But, you know, it's just sad to me that Caleb didn't push himself hard enough to get out at the same time Tammy gets out. Because now they're going to be separated. And it's kind of like you're, you're in a prison of your own body and mind. Because the mind drives you to eat. And then the body is your prison. You're stuck. You literally have to have other people help you to, to shower, to go to the bathroom, for God's sakes. Imagine the amount of pain that they're in. Because your body's not made to be this big. Your bone structure can't handle it. You know? So I just hope that Caleb just pushes himself and gets the hell out of here gets out of this bad situation hey no stop being sappy hello hey. what do you need for him to giggle you know the drill i need clothes i think one of the hardest part about being newlyweds and in a facility camp sex is that what you're about to say Camp sex is the privacy. Not only, I mean, the people don't knock. You guys need to. You guys need to focus on getting better. Okay. Priorities are not not correct here. <laughs> Priorities are mixed up. They should not be like okay. They're newlyweds, but they they've been together for a minute. You know, I think that they should focus on getting healthier they just they seem to be stuck in their old ways still just kind of joking around talking about sneaking around in this facility that's meant to help you get better and they're worried about hooking up like that's that's what their concern is i don't know do you know what i'm saying <laughs> does that make sense but every time we turn around there's only You know the plan. No days off. Let's hit the gym. I'm behind you. So are they are they really going to the gym? Like you good. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Goodness gracious, look at that stomach. It, it's about to hit the ground. How long have they been in that my question is how long has he been in that facility? And how how is Tammy sitting here? What's happening here? Is she halfway off the bed? I'm confused. I, I see her, I guess she just kind of leaning on the bed, but she, her feet are on the ground. I'm just, it looks like a surreal painting right now. I just don't understand what's happening. It looks like a Salvador Dali painting, so I'm not really sure what's happening here. <laughs> Caleb, I'm Ah, I see. So she was just being goofy, like halfway on the bed. Okay, it makes sense I'm losing weight and reaching goals. Caleb has been walking more, and now I'm like 430 pounds. That's almost 300 pounds lost. Holy crap, dude, that's crazy. You know, when you see her like this, for me personally, I haven't watched Thousand Pound Sisters in a while. I just remember that she was so big that she had to like lay down in the van and even then she'd be in just excruciating pain she would take up an entire love seat by herself or whenever they try to film the sisters together amy would be basically almost sitting on top of tammy because tammy was so big so she's lost let's call it 300 so she was like 750 that is crazy that's absolutely insane. But I am very proud. I'm not the biggest uh, Thousand Pound Sisters fan in the world, I will admit it. 
but I'm extremely, extremely proud of Tammy's progress. You know, I just hope that she keeps at it. In less than 15 months. Every day I improve, every day I make changes, every day I'm stronger. Okay. Roll out. The fight is in me, I'm a Leo after all. What's up with Caleb though? I mean, can we talk about his weight loss or did he lose weight? Maybe he was bigger than this. Maybe I'm being too judgmental. Maybe I'm just being too harsh right now. Why? <laughs> How long are we doing? 30. 30? Yeah. Oh, you trying to make me work today? <laughs> Some other bigger important things is the trach is out. When they told me my trach was going to get taken out, I was crying legit. And because crazy. of the trick, I had to stay. What is this shit, dude? They're not even they're not even doing the exercises properly. Just shameful. Just goofing around really. And we have for over a year. But now that my trick is out, I get to go home. I'm happy. That's a workout. I mean, I get it. They're in no shape to like stand up and work out, but Tammy's over there goofing around and Caleb's just like put on like one pound or whatever. I don't know. I just, I think that they kind of, they like to joke around a lot. Like this family likes to joke and I get it. Like life is hard. It's fun to joke around. Lord knows me and my family joke around a lot. We try to make dark things funny. You know what I mean? But sometimes you have to take shit seriously. And being 430 pounds, I would, when you go to the gym, it's like, it's not like, <laughs> we're going to go to the gym and f*** around. No, you need to go to the gym and really work out and really push yourself to the limit for the shape that your, your body's in. Like I said, they're in a wheelchair. I'm not saying that they run a mile or something. But it just doesn't seem like they're taking it very seriously. I'm smiling more, laughing more, because at home, probably going around butt necking, yelling Yankee Doodle, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> Got to answer to nobody. Speaking of home, how's everybody doing? Aren't they good. I miss so much, though. Kids' birthdays, get togethers. Just ready to get back there, you know? How oh, we. Even more independent. I'll be the one getting my clothes out of the closet. I'll be the one doing the dishes, cooking for myself. Uh, well, us. Right. We'll see how long that lasts. I, I, I don't want to see her getting DoorDash and all this stuff. Or, like, in the previous season, she's getting random people in the family to bring her, like, so much food. I'm really scared we're going to see that again. Tomorrow, Caleb gets to talk to the doctor and see if he's able to get his trach out so he can leave rehab with me. I am afraid mm -hmm. that he's going to have to stay longer because he can't get his trach out. And I can't imagine walking out of this place without my husband. Well, boo-boo, you got to do what's right for you and your family. And if you love Caleb and you want to be with him for life, then... Your attitude should be, you know what, Caleb's not well, so he needs to stay here until he can get well. I really do hope that you get to come home with me. That's a delusion. Okay, so basically they, they keep introducing everybody again. Everybody's pretty much in the same spot. Nothing much has changed. I wanted to skip forward to where basically Tammy comes home. And then some drama happens. So basically, Caleb, of course, Caleb can't get out. One of the big milestones is that Tammy can actually sit in the back seat of the van. Chris comes to pick her up. Tammy can sit in the back seat. She can actually fit in the van. So she's very proud of herself for that. Okay, grab the door, Amy. Okay, so Tammy's coming home. And she was concerned that the mobility ramp wouldn't support her weight 
But remember, she lost 300 pounds. She's only 440 now, or excuse me, 430 or around there. So it's fine. Don't go too far with it. I'm gonna need it. Damn, bitch. The way you shot up there looked like you were going to tackle somebody. Well, get the out of my way, bitches. I can pee. She's home finally. <laughs> the older sister gained weight, right? Amy, Amy and Tammy's sister gained weight, I think. She's finally home. Damn, what took you so long? <laughs> you. <laughs> Say hi, Aunt Tammy. Come here, meatball. Gage, don't run over anybody. <laughs> what you doing, yeah, she did, she definitely gained some weight, I believe. What you doing? We well, boys hey, so Gage, be careful. Oh. See, the problem is they all influence each other. Chris gained some weight too. I feel like I, I feel like last season he was doing better too. Gage, you little fool. <laughs> oh, he's getting serious now. <laughs> Hey. Oh, damn. Careful. How do you feel to be broke out? It's weird. It's weird? Yeah. What, putting up with us? Yeah. Oh, look, just so you know, this... Oh, see what I mean? It's a little overwhelming a little bit. Is it? Gage, get out from in the wheelchair, please. No. Yeah, just let the babies do anything. Jerk the oxygen tank. Jerk the oxygen tube out of Tammy's neck basically it's fine just let them do whatever it's cool just say no they'll stop yeah no hey. thank you <laughs> hey sir calm it down <laughs> i can tell it tammy's getting very overwhelmed and stressed out and i'm too i mean gage is running around like crazy yeah they're not they're not like they're just letting them do whatever you have to hold your baby michael ain't doing He's just sitting there. Michael's such a f***ing idiot, man. He's just sitting there like a log. He's such a lump. His existence is this. I like Boo Boo the fool. As you can see, there is a lot. Yeah, Amy's getting tired, Michael, and I would too. He's such a doofus man i mean he is like dumber than dumb out of boxes and stuff i think amy's like honestly amy's like probably one of the smartest ones in the family <laughs> like there none of them are like einstein but amy's got a decent head on her shoulders maybe she's just more mature i don't really you know what i'm saying right she just seems to have more common sense is what i'm trying to say nobody's mentioned the tree Oh. This is the first time my family seen me without a tray. In person. And them bitches didn't even say anything. So rude. I, okay, I don't know. Great job, I guess. Like, doing what you're supposed to do in the facility where you're supposed to lose weight. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't know. She's very self-centered. You're going to see in a second what she says. I, I was looking. I mean, I've tried to be discreet <laughs> because, like, I really want to see. But I didn't want to, like, make you feel uncomfortable. She probably had bitch Does that going. hurt? No. It's my throat. Touch it. Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a butthole. It's just a butthole in my throat. Just touch it. It's no big deal. <gasps> just touch my throat butthole. Just just chill. It's just a throat butthole. It's nothing. Dude. It's skin. Don't touch it. Don't do it. Put your finger. Just touch it. It's just a throat butthole. Touch it. <laughs> Do it. I want to see it. Come on. It doesn't smell. I cleaned it earlier. Just touch it already. Give me your hand. I got it myself. <laughs> I can do this I'm all just, by myself. I've got a few. Just okay. Take it. Okay. Get over here. Oh, that's weird. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. See, it is a butthole. Bitch, you scared me. <laughs> I thought I'd been swallowed up by that. <laughs> It looks like a butthole for real. You just made me Judy Chopper. That was great though. I didn't touch it. No. <laughs> Amy's being a wussy. She don't even look at it. The good I was looking at Chris. <laughs> okay, that was bad. You're, you're about to see. <laughs> Amy does not think that shit's funny, guys. Like. <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, I mean that's just that's their humor though. You know, they 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 f with each other like this regularly. <laughs> Amanda, you just hurt her damn feelings. Did I hurt her feelings? Yes. Probably. It's okay. I, it is a little, it's distasteful, but, you know, they all make fun of each other. They all call each other bitches and fat and all this stuff, like, so, I don't know. But Amy, Amy really got her feelings hurt. I don't think she's acting here. But I saw it as my deepest insecurity. They make fun of my eyes a lot, and it hurts a lot. I can never change my eyes. I can never be beautiful. Oh, sweetie, eyesight. it's not that bad, honey. It makes me sad. And how I look, and to her to make fun of it is really bad. Oh, don't like that. That really hurt her feelings. I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I know they always mess with each other, so I didn't think that it was such a uh, hurtful thing, but I guess it is because she really had a bad reaction to that. So I think she's stressed out because Tammy's coming home and she she knows she's going to have more a lot more responsibility now because Tammy's coming. She knows how Tammy is. She's going to be taking care of Tammy pretty soon. I guarantee it. She already has her kids to look after. Her husband's piece of shit. He's not helping. She's, she's stressed. The cameras are back. You know what I mean? Everything's back in full swing. So I think that tensions are a little high right now. Which makes sense why something like that, that usually she might chuckle or just it wouldn't affect her like this. Today, it was a little much for her. She's emotional. That's for damn sure. Let me go in here and fix this. It's okay Please. to joke about me and say I can't even feel Yeah, she's gonna go fixing it by yelling at Amy. In the room without getting made fun of. That. Stay in here. She's uh, she's hot. Stay in okay, here. that's fine. It's not my first rodeo. No, it's fine. I'm just gonna go yell at her. I think that'll make her feel better. I'm so This family's so toxic. Sick of getting hey, made fun of you. No, that's bull first of all. You said you know that I was just, of me, yeah, I'm not even making fun of you. I'm done.